I'm going to bring up Rami now. They did it behind my back because they thought he's stupid. Those guys are f***ing crooks. And seeing the shit they tried to do behind my back to try to get run, thinking Rami is stupid. Now, this is the real deal, okay? Because people telling me I'm, I'm, I'm leeching off of Rami. And not only did he not get paid, also his Olympia bonus. He didn't get his bonus like he was promised. The bonus was $100,000. $100,000 for winning the Olympia. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and in this video, I react to Dennis James's comments on what went down between him, Big Rami, and Enhanced Labs, which Tony Huge is involved with, why Big Rami didn't get paid, plus much more. I hope you guys enjoy this video. What's up, desktopers? Now, before I get into this one, I want to encourage you guys, if you like and appreciate this content and all my contest coverage and interviews and all that sort of stuff, please give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. But let's get straight into this one. So I was watching the most recent episode of the Menace podcast and it featured uh, Jamie the Giant Joe Hull. It featured Nathan Diasher and also James Hollingshead. So three British guys on there. And they were sort of discussing, well, Nathan Diasher was discussing how not all companies really care about the athlete. And it basically led into Dennis James discussing, you know, about what went down with Enhanced Labs and Big Rami and obviously himself as well, because he's involved in that whole deal. He's also sponsored by Enhanced Labs. Big Rami was sponsored by Enhanced Labs and this all sort of happened and Big Rami was picked up by Enhanced after the 2020 Mr. Olympia, which he won. So let's get straight into this video. I'm going to be reacting to it and giving a little bit more info as well. So let's get to it. A lot of companies aren't for the athletes. They say they are, but they aren't. And James can, James can pitch to this. Yeah. Whatever we want, we get, we'll look. We'll Trust look me, that. I know. Trust me, I know. I've been you there, know? done it. And actually, we just went through it again because there's so much shit going around about, I'm, I'm going to bring up Rami now. Okay? Yeah. Shit going yeah, around. No, oh, he got, he got the, the sponsor kicked him out. He lost his sponsor. Like, you know. They, they, yeah. And then they bring, I don't know where, they have one of the, Tony on the podcast, somewhere on a, on a show, and he explained. And he didn't really, he didn't want to tell the truth, you know, of course not. Yeah. But he didn't, he didn't trash Rami. He just basically w went with what people are thinking and saying, yeah, he's got so much shit going on over there in the Middle East. He doesn't need it, blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of bullshit. So that's super interesting because Tony Huge appeared on RX Muscle uh, with Dave Palumbo and he basically sort of went over things and from memory at least from what I remember it's made it sound, seem or sound like that Big Rami is sort of not fulfilling his obligations in terms of posting and things like that which we didn't see a lot from Big Rami and all that sort of stuff so from the outside looking in it can definitely seem that way and that's why fans were saying that Big Rami's doing nothing for them and all that sort of stuff but later on in this you'll actually find out he actually probably was doing a fair bit for Enhanced Labs. You know, I was waiting for the time to fucking tell the truth, what really happened. Because at yeah, the end yeah. of the day, nobody this is kicked. What we're waiting. Nobody this is kicked. What we're waiting for. Yes, at the end of the day, <laughs> nobody kicked anybody out. Yeah. The real problem is this. This is what really happened. And I'm going to say this because I know there's going to be a lot of people, they're going to they're gonna edit it out and use it because it needs to be told. So, yep, absolutely right. <laughs> Editing this out, using it. So, Dennis James knows what's up. You know, first of all, he did not lose his sponsor. He did not lose his sponsor because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. We did everything we were supposed to do by contract. Every single thing that was in the contract was done, and even more, just to say this. I have the contracts where it says, you know, we got to post once a week. Yeah. yeah. I told the people after a couple of months, I said, guys, why not twice a week? What's wrong? You know, yeah. those are the most unprofessional people that I've ever worked with in my whole entire life when it comes to supplement company. And I've yeah, been with some... You've been around. You've been around. Exactly. Yeah. The been most around unprofessional supplement... They had no idea. They, it's almost like they started and they, they don't even know bodybuilding. 
So by the sounds of it, Big Ramy was fulfilling his obligations in terms of actually whatever's in the contract, he was doing it. Because we did see the odd post from Big Ramy going up about the products and stuff like that. And it was sort of maybe a post that was catered and was just basically sent to him and said, put this up and he'd put it up. So it seems like he was fulfilling his obligations in terms of the contract. Was he going above and beyond? Dennis James says yes. And later on in this, you actually hear how he was going above and beyond for Enhanced Labs as well, which we didn't sort of see. And from the outside looking in, it looked like he wasn't, but by the sounds of it, he actually was. Yeah. You know, the guy that, you know, Tony Huge, who's doing all this crazy stuff on YouTube, he's over there in Thailand, so he's basically not doing nothing. The he's guys, just chilling. He's listen, chilling over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to tell you guys. Here's what happened. They contacted me right after uh, Arnold, uh, Arnold Romney won his first, first Olympia. You know, and to somebody, it was the guy that was working for the game as a CEO or whatever. He contacted me and made an offer, and I told him, basically, we don't need gas money. Okay? Yeah. So, because he didn't know, this guy had no idea. He didn't know anybody. Bill. He didn't know who I was. He didn't know. He was yeah, he didn't know who Rami was, so... So it sounds like they really lowballed Rami, and um, I love how Dennis James is a straight shooter. They might have offered him a hundred grand or two hundred grand a year or something, maybe less. And Big Rami, you know, obviously being a, a celebrity over there in Egypt and being Mister Olympia, and you know, who knows how many titles he's actually going to win. Um, sounds like they definitely lowballed Big Rami at first. Now this is the real deal, okay? <laughs> because people telling me I'm fucking, I'm, I'm leeching off a of Rami, and you know, I met these people solely to negotiate for Rami, because that was a deal. And there comes, you know, we meet at the Cheesecake Factory, the guy sits in front of me with this other guy, this Trevor, uh, who does, I don't know, who develops products for them. And he said, um, you know, we want to sign Rami, and we want to sign you too. And I'm like, me? Why me? Why me? You know, I said, yeah, because we think you guys are a great team, and we want to keep this together. Am I going to say no? Dennis James definitely shouldn't say no to that. I mean, if he was choosing Rami to have that contract solely on the reason that he's getting signed to, then maybe that's a little bit wrong, but it doesn't sound like that whatsoever. And Dennis James wasn't even going into it with the intention of being like, okay, if you're going to sign Rami, you got to sign me as well. And that's sort of, I suppose, from the outside looking in, many people could have assumed that. Uh, but Dennis James, it sounds like he does a lot for Rami off his own back. And obviously, you know, when you do a lot of good things for people, things come back to you. And Dennis James obviously has Rami come and stay at his house for several months before the Olympias, um, trains him. You know, his, I think his wife cooks for him. So really, Dennis James is giving back a lot. And he went to that Pittsburgh pro guest posing and Big Rami wasn't there. And he's going just for Big Rami. So Dennis James sounds like he's a genuinely good dude, goes out of his way to help other people. And Dennis James is a straight shooter. I mean, I've talked to Dennis James and, and if he thinks something, he will just straight up say it to you. And I love that about Dennis James as well. My main thing here was first to make sure Rami's happy. You know, you know, and there was other people. There was Aaron, we was I was negotiating with Aaron too. Aaron Singerman, you know? Yeah. And he was next to enhance the highest bidder too. So, you know, but Aaron, I knew that there's a lot of work comes with, and I know Rami isn't the best when it comes to doing stuff on a date. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I know with Aaron, there's a lot of stuff involved because he want people to make sell products and, and, and that's why it's a commission, blah, blah, blah. I would have loved to see what actually would have happened if Big Rami did sign on Redcon 1. I don't think it would have worked out incredibly well because like Dennis James said, Rami doesn't seem to be one of those guys that wants to do things on the daily and putting things out there constantly and all that sort of stuff. Because we saw with Cedric McMillan, obviously like rest in peace Cedric, um, he was with Redcon 1 and he would put up videos saying, Aaron wanted me to put this up and you know, da, 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 he's been bugging me to post this and all that sort of stuff. And Cedric was sort of the same sort of as Big Rami in that way, at least anyway, they have a life sort of outside of bodybuilding and I don't think they want to be bothered all the time with the posting and all that sort of stuff. You can say it's laziness, but I think it's just certain people's personalities as well. So I don't know if it actually would have worked with Redcon 1, but I would have loved to have seen it. And if there's something in the contract where he had to come over and had to spend time there and they got a lot of content out, I think it could have been really, really cool. We would have seen a lot more from Big Rami. And I think it would have helped Big Rami's brand as well. The other issue was that the money did not come from Enhanced by itself. The money came from two, uh, three, total three distributors. Enhanced mm -hmm. here, distributor in Dubai, and the distributor in India. They all had to chip in to, oh, pay, well. to pay Rami every That's month. Just messy, it? That's just messy, you know? It's the biggest, yeah. and the, the biggest problem is, and this is what we found out real quick, they fighting each other. They have, they, it was the biggest clusterfuck of a company I've ever seen in my life. 
And at the end of the day, some of these guys weren't able to pay anymore. So now, what do you do if you don't get paid? You're gone. You get out. You're gone for Wait work. a minute. Wait a minute. You don't get paid one month. You didn't get paid for second month. And we're not talking a couple of thousand dollars here. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll take that yeah. So now, but we're still doing our thing. We're still posting. We're still doing. And yeah. now, in the meantime, they try to go behind my back and negotiate with Rami another contract for less money. If he signs that contract, they'll be able to pay him. Motherfuckers. Which is a bunch of bullshit. Those guys are fucking crooks. In my eyes, in my, this, go up this is the, yeah, this is the biggest bullshit I've ever seen. And, and I don't understand how these people stay alive. At the end of the day, they did not pay for four months. Yeah. And that's when we stopped posting. I'm suing your ass, bro. I have, listen, I have phone calls, meetings where these people say, oh, yeah, we know, we're looking, we're waiting for an SBA loan. They broke. So that's huge. If Big Ramy didn't get paid, and obviously Dennis James as well, I don't know what Dennis James was earning, but I assume it was probably pretty decent. If Big Ramy was earning what Tony Huge sort of alluded to in an interview with RX Muscle after he signed Big Ramy, if it's half a million to a million a year, let's just say. Now, Big Ramy's a huge celebrity in Egypt, so I can't imagine it'd be under half a million dollars a year. So if it's half a million dollars a year, that's $166,000 US. And if it's a million dollars a year, it's $333,000. A little bit over that, you know, 0.333 and so on. So that's huge money that he didn't get paid uh, by Enhanced Labs. And in my understanding, at least by this interview and by this uh, podcast rather, is that he has, still hasn't got that money. So this is pretty bad. And this is a bad, bad look for Enhanced Labs if they're going to continue on or if they're actually going to go bankrupt and uh, close down. And at the end of the day, they didn't even try to fucking fix this problem and get at yeah. least give us the money that they owe us. They That's just vanished. They just they just vanished and not even replying. And then to end it, they, you know, end it like this by ignoring me, my yeah, messages, man. my emails, Bullshit. and seeing so, the man. bullshit they try to do behind my back to try to get thinking Rami is stupid that he will sign for less <laughs> after you owe him three months worth of money. <laughs> How is he going to sign a contract with you when you can't even pay him the last three months? They shouldn't even propose that in the first place. If they they did it behind my back because they thought he's Jokes. stupid. So this is pretty rough. Now, he's saying three months now. So I don't know if it's three or four months. If it's unpaid, maybe it's four months. And then they paid one month. Who knows? Um, but the fact that they actually tried to sign Big Rami for less money than we go, oh, we can pay you for paying you less. When you already owe him three to four months of his salary? That's crazy to me. And the fact that they went behind Dennis James's back, who actually sorted out the deal for Big Rami, went directly to Rami, I think it's just straight up wrong. I think it's straight up wrong. These guys need to be held accountable. And at least they're being held accountable right now. And I'm sure it's going to be held accountable by Dennis James, by these other bodybuilding channels, and by my channel as well. And hopefully they end up paying up. And if they do end up paying up, I'll report that news as well and at least give them a little bit of a pat on the back for that. But yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. Hey, not only did he not get paid, also, his Olympia bonus. He didn't get his bonus like he was promised. Oh, no, bro. That would be enough. Listen, enough the Olympia bonus, let me put that out there because the, the, Tony, <laughs> didn't, Tony didn't mention that either. Uh, what were the numbers, D? What were the the numbers? bonus was $100,000. $100,000 for winning the Olympia. Wow. Okay, and I remember wow. I had dinner with the owner uh, weeks before the Olympia when he told me at the table, he said, yeah, we already put the $100,000 away in case Rami wins it again. In case Rami wins it again, obviously he's going in as the big favorite, so they'd have to expect to be paying about $100,000 US. And the fact that he hasn't got that as well, so let's let's do the maths once again. Let's add this up. So if it's uh, $500,000 a year he's getting paid, he's short over a quarter of a million dollars, $266,000. If it is a million dollars a year he's getting paid, plus that bonus, and if it's four months, then it's $433,000. And obviously, if it's only three months, it's a little bit less as well, you know, but it's under 100000 less. So pretty brutal and uh these guys i'm sure are going to get flamed and no one's going to want to really buy their products if this is the case if they don't make up for this if they don't do anything and uh, to be honest i think enhanced labs is probably a sinking ship at this point but here's the thing here's the thing you know they didn't go tell people that you know that he didn't do what he was supposed to do which is the biggest lie matter of fact he found them distributors from from somewhere in the middle east one of them wanted to put an order in a five million dollars and they couldn't even uh, fucking get the products for them. 
That's crazy. So an order for $5 million. Now I understand a company not actually be able to fulfill this order because $5 million is a huge amount of money. So just say they order $5 million worth, just say it costs enhanced maybe $3 million to actually produce the products. I understand if this company does not have enough to actually do that. Fulfill it in different lots. So go, okay, well, if you want to order $5 million worth, we can supply you with $1 million of that order or $750,000 of that order. And once we get paid from that, a few weeks later, we can get more of these products made up and then fulfill the next part and the next part and whatever and just keep sending them this uh, order in lots. I mean, that sort of makes sense to me. That actually happened at a supplement company I worked for, which Aaron Singham was actually previously involved with as well. Um, there was a order for over a million dollars and couldn't be fulfilled all in one. It had to be fulfilled in two lots. And I don't know why Enhance couldn't get their stuff together to actually fulfill a $5 million order that Big Ramy set up for them. The fact that Big Ramy set that order up, that probably pays for his contract alone, or at least, you know, at least for the exposure, plus also getting it into other countries and all that sort of stuff. This can make a brand absolutely blow up. $5 million is huge. So... It's not a good look whatsoever for Enhanced Labs. And I think Dennis James did the right thing. He waited it out, seen if these guys will pay him, seen if they'll pay Big Rami, seen if they can actually amend their mistakes, because I'm sure he would have kept it quiet had they done that. But as it'd been months and months and, you know, sort of, you know, Tony Huge appearing on RX Muscle and who knows if he knew everything of what went down because he's over there in Thailand and maybe there's other things going on behind the scenes. But it's, it's not a good look. It's not even a good look for Tony Huge and his brand. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Tony Huge has to say about this. If he does come out and say anything, I'll have Tony Huge on my channel. I'll have Dennis James on my channel. I'll have everyone. I'll actually reach out to all these people and try to get them on desktop bodybuilding to give their opinion. But let me know what you think in the comments below on what actually went down. Do you think Enhanced Labs will actually end up paying Dennis James and Big Rami? Do you think they'll go bust? Let me know what you think about all that in the comments below. If you guys like and appreciate this content, please give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. And also head to hdmuscle.com, enter the code desktop, you'll save yourself 10% on some amazing supplements. Check them all out. They've got a great non-stim pre-workout. The pumps are absolutely insane. You can see here, I was actually using a product and I'm a little bit smaller right now just because you know moving across the country and a few injuries and all that sort of stuff. But I would use that stuff and I would go and train and it's just like you get like 10, 15, 20 minutes into the workout and you just start to blow up. It's absolutely insane. The stim pre-workout's next level as well and we've got a whole other range of products too. So make sure you do check them out. Click the link in the description below or just enter the code desktop at checkout. So that's it for me for Xavier Wills Desktop Bodybuilding. We are out.